The Ostrograd Skies Method. Ostrograd Skies Method. This name seems to be heavy in speaking, but however, it gives a simple solution to problems of this form. When you try to look on this problem, it has a repeated denominator. What do I mean by repeated? That its denominator is powerful, so it, it, its brackets are written three times. That's what I mean by saying repeated. And when you try to look on the degree of the numerator, it is actually so less than the degree of the denominator. Now, also Great Skies Method says, whenever you see the degree of the denominator greater than that of the numerator, and when the denominator is a repeated function you use his method what did he come out to speak we shall see this simple solution as to work out this problem as you can see first of all i'm going to get way of simplifying it what do i mean i'm going to let my x squared to be t however you can look on the on the numerator the numerator is 2x cubed and as i said here 2x cubed can be written as x squared times 2x dx that's why i'm saying when you differentiate and you get 2x dx which is equal to dt by substituting back instead of writing 2x dx i will be writing dt times T and the denominators change to appear like this. Now, also, Grady Skies method says if the thing is in this form, like you try to express a function in partial fractions. Now, what are partial fractions? Now, when you try to look, there's just a little bit of different cause of this integral sign you're seeing the other side. Now, that's why I'm saying. When you're expressing this quadratic equation in partial fractions, first of all, you shall be writing a t plus b. If it is maybe t cubed, you be, you sh I expected it to be writing a t squared plus b t, maybe plus c. But this is a degree two. That's why I have only two constants in the numerator. Still, now uh, now for the you don't write power theory. You reduce the degree by one. Now this was power three, so I expect it to write power two. Three minus one, you get two. And then this is power one. You go on reducing the degree. Now this one we expect it to be having three minus two, which is a one. And when the degree stops on one, you for power zero, you don't write the denominator. So it's the same thing. Uh when you try to write this, the denominator is here. So we expect you to be having ct plus d. Still, when you reach the integral, now instead of writing for, for power 0, you just write the integral. The integral is still the same integral, but still in partial fractions, it will be et plus f. So that is what, that's the idea of Ostrogradis Sky's method, that you try to write the numerator, you just keep on reducing the degree by 1, and when you reach 1, the next thing is writing the integral, Whose the denominator is the function without the power. That is it. After writing that, so now the next thing we shall do is differentiating both sides. This is what I will talk about. You differentiate both sides. After you differentiating both sides, you collect like times i girls. You're going to use quotient law to differentiate this function here, whereby you hold the denominator, you differentiate the numerator minus the numerator, you differentiate the denominator. That's what I mean. And when you do that very well, you'll be getting this after collecting like terms. You don't want only do it for this only. You do it for this also. You differentiate that function, you get that. But however, you differentiate an integral sign, you get the function itself. That's why I'm writing the function here. It's the same thing for the left hand side here. When you differentiate this integral sign here, you get a function itself. After there, what's the next step? For the next step here, I'm going to multiply t squared minus t plus x. Like I'm going to already you should multiply this denominator here through because this will, this will be the greatest common divisor. So when you multiply it here, I guess it will get off. But what I say is that you multiply this function everywhere and you collect like terms, which when you collect like, like terms, you'll be having this equation here. Now, for the next thing, for of course, for power 5, we have in one E. For power 4, we have that. For power 3, these are the constants we have. For power 2, those are the ones we have. So we, or it means when we start equating equations, for power 5, there is nothing here. 
because we only have C, which is power one. So for power five, there is so we have E. When you equate to B, E is equal to zero. So we already have our constant E as zero. So yeah, we are going to keep on uh, equating equations as we simplify them. So for E, we have it as zero, as we saw. So for, for power four, when you try to equate and simplify, you, of course, you'll be having that equation. For power three, you shall be having those equations. In other words, these are the equations you get by equating. Now, after you getting these equations, you shall need to solve them to find the constants. Maybe you can try to um, continue with three. I know you can now solve these equations. They are not so hard for you, I guess. And when you try to solve them, you get A as this. B as that and C as that. So the next thing we shall be substituting now these constants we have got back to the equation. This is what I mean. We have got them here. So I'm substituting back them in this in the other equation we had in position of A, you write that in position of B, you write everything the way it was, and when you try to sub to simplify them somehow, you'll be having this equation. Now I have this integral for this. I have finished integrating them. Now I have to integrate this. How am I going to do it? So for this, I'm going to use somehow tan substitution because after me completing squares i shall be having this equation when i complete squares and after completing after we having this we already know this is tan substitution where it is just equal to the constant attached to on a which is two times the square root of theory wow then turn the arc of this function which is here in the square bracket divided by root of theory this is what I get by integrating this function here. Now, meaning I can write now my integral without this. Because I have got it, that's what I'm writing here. However, we can remember we said t is equal to x squared. t is x squared. So I can now substitute back my t. But when you put it here, you'll be having that. So you put everywhere that there is t such that the equation appears to meaning when you integrate this function, you got that. Do you see how Austro Grad Sky method makes everything so simple? If you liked the video, please subscribe on my channel. Thanks for watching.